Lord, I ask you that you will supernaturally infuse us with your strength and power to face this day. Thank you that your joy is our strength and that you are our strength and our portion forever. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Thursday, February 23, 2023. This is Love World, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Alleluia. 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 Alleluia is an heaven language. Alleluia song will never cease our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is continuation from yesterday. Growing your faith, part three. Growing your faith, part three. Our memory first, let me find the book of James, 1 verse 22. I read, But be ye dull of the world and not hearer, only deceiving your own self. But be ye doers of the world and not hearers, only deceiving your own self. After studying, studying God's word, memorizing and meditating on it, you must ensure you act on it so your faith can grow. Our Bible reading for today say clearly that we must not be hearers only, but doers also. In fact, verse 25 say that if you are doer of the word, you will be blessed indeed. In other words, the more you apply the word, the more blessed you become. While faithfulness is a noun, faith is a footprint for a verb. If you truly believe, it will show in your action. James 2 verse 26 After you have meditated on something you read in the Bible, the next thing you have to do is to apply it. Make a move in line with what has been revealed to you in the world. When you read Proverbs 21 verse 13 that say, You should not close your ear to cry of the poor. Do you apply it? When you read Deuteronomy 28 verse 7 that says that if enemy gather against you in one way, they will scatter in seven. Do you still fret at the sight of them? When you apply the lesson you draw from the word of God, your faith will begin to grow. Very soon, little faith will become great. Faith and great faith will become very great faith. All you have to do is practice what you learn. I did not start out with the level of faith I am now. I remember when, when very well I had just gotten born again. My Sunday school teacher taught us that if a little boy is on the roof and his father tell him to jump down, promising to catch him, the boy would jump. He said in the same vein, when God asks us to jump, we should just jump and he will catch us. I meditate over that deeply. Since then, I have been jumping and God has been catching me. So many times I started projects, not because I have found required to complete them, but because I know that God will catch me. And he had never failed. For every time it showed up, my faith grew up and my dream became bigger. I keep going for the bigger mountain because I am sure that it lives and supporting me all the ways. Brethren, I want us to read the book of James 1, 22-25 and our Bible in one year, the Tarunomi. 5 verse 8. Our hymn is in 21, standing on the promises of Christ my King. Standing on the promises of Christ my King. Our reflection for today, 
Have you been practicing the thing that you have been learning from the Word of God? Have you been practicing the things that you have been learning from the Word of God? And I pray God will help you. God will be your shepherd. He will give you wisdom, learned understanding in all aspects in Jesus' name. Amen. Better? This is Love World. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And the goodness of God will never live your life. Have a nice day. And bye for now. God bless you.